Young Miami claims she's done with Diddy. She is confirmed in a uh, in a uh, I think it's a maybe People magazine. Sean Diddy Combs and Carisha Young Miami Brownlee have separated ways. Though the rapper's romance was often a source of buzz for fans, the pair said repeatedly that they were dated, but not an exclusive relationship. Miami, who's 29, confirmed in a new interview that they're no longer together. We're still friends. We're still good friends, she told the cut. But we're single. That's not my man. The city rappers, uh, city rap, the city girls rapper added that she and Diddy, who was 53, had her own situation that she didn't want to put a label on it, blah, blah, blah. Let me see if I can find her saying it. Okay. So essentially, you know what I mean? Um, is there a video? I thought it was a video. She told the cut. All right. Probably not a video. Regardless, she's claiming it's over. I'm going to be honest, man. The shit was going to end up like that the moment that uh, Young Miami. Young, the, the moment she said this. Let me talk about it. The moment she admitted this. Let's keep everybody nice and waxed. And it's too hot for that hair. We not. I can't say it. You got to. It say take a shot if you like golden showers. I do. Golden showers? Meaning when the guy pees on you? Mm -hmm. Pee on you everywhere? You like it? I just like it. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> Freak of the week, huh? So you say. By the way, I'm not shaming her for, for what she like. There's a lot of, like, usually, I'm going to be honest. Chat, there's a saying that I've realized is true. Most women are into most things for the right person. Now, I know she admitted this, but I'm pretty sure she's not letting every dude pee on her. Like, you know what I mean? She probably has to really like the guy. She might have made Diddy pee on her, but, like, that nigga's pissing out Deli on. She ain't going to let you piss on her, my nigga. Like, you know what I mean? That's just the reality of the situation. But um, after this point, man, I, I just realized I was like, yo... Young Miami was going to learn the, the unfortunate truth, which, by the way, Young Miami is actually 31 or 30 or something like that. How old is she? 29. You know, not that old, but, but still. Um, a lot of people just have to understand the reality. Diddy's a 53-year-old player, man. Diddy done had some of the bestest of pussies. He has some of the most used-up boxes. He's had a lot of women in his life. All that shorty wop shit was only going to be temporary, okay? Diddy gave you a good year, and I don't think she should be mad either. She got like a little Maybach out of it and all that type of stuff. Diddy got what he wanted. Listen, a fair exchange ain't no robbery, right? She ain't spent too much years being stuck on this shit. She got a car, whatever the case is. It is what it is, if you ask me. However, I'm going to be honest with you, and she's probably going to be able to escape this because she's famous. I always say you got to treat a woman how she allowed herself to be treated by the last guy. So if you were the side chick to Diddy, I don't want to make you my main chick. Now, granted, I'm, I'm, I'm saying me, but I'm just saying what her next guy could be saying, right? Like, yo. You were a famous side chick. Why the hell would I make you the famous wifey now? But who knows? You know, um, good luck to her. Uh, she's clearly getting through life. I think the city girls are at like a at an impasse. It's an interesting point in their career. I don't look towards them for music anymore. I look towards them for lifestyle stuff. The city girls movement, it, I don't think it's completely centered around music anymore. By the way, I personally believe... The city girls, hot girl, and this is a hot take of mine, so you can clip this, whatever. That city girls, hot girl, icy girl wave is kind of over. Like, people are back to wanting submissive women, bro. You get what I mean? Like, 
people want Ice Spice, the chick that we don't hear, like, oh, yes, bitch, like, yeah, she raps and shit, but, like, have you heard Ice Spice say any of the things just in interviews, like, these, these women try to preach? I think people are over this type of error. This type of error was proven to be a fraud. A bunch of women got smutted out. Mileage ran up on a box. And I think when the dust settles, it's people like Ice Spice and the more feminine women who either know how to make a, a, a better balance where they're not isolating fan bases. I think those are the people that win. So I personally believe that City Girls era is done. You know what I mean? Like, not that the whole era is done, but people caring that much about the movement where the music is so lit. You know, those anthems, like, nobody want to hear that shit no more. We know, y'all y'all get peed on, y'all suck everybody up, y'all outside, y'all y'all, y'all y'all fuck for a bag. Like, come on, that shit's old. Like, I believe that City Girls, Hot Girls, Icy Girls movement, I think all those are a wrap. People are done hearing that narrative, especially when you're putting in propaganda. Now, if it's a hot song, it's a hot song. But those movements, I think it's a wrap, bro. All right. Okay. All right. Still got a bunch of topics to still get to. Um, let me see what we didn't talk about. 